Shout it loud, hallelujah. For those who are believing God for great things today, shout the loudest, hallelujah. If you know that all your Goliath shall be disgraced, shout the loudest, hallelujah. Let's try to stop it. Right there where you are, close your eyes, beloved. And sing this song loud and clear from the bottom of your spirit. Power must change us in my life. No matter what I may say. Power must change us in my life. Hallelujah, no matter what that devil may say. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. are gathered at this deep deliverance service or you are connected to us one way or the other you need to praise God like David praise and dance like David dance God is glorious in holiness and fearful in praises do it from the bottom of your heart and you open the doors to your unending breakthroughs Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, 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 you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Oh, Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Verily, verily, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Jesus, you are good. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Unquestionable, 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 you are the Lord. Hallelujah. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Hallelujah. Unquestionable, you are the Lord. Hallelujah. Unquestionable, unquestionable, unquestionable.
生呀，上九州，九万山呀，上九州，上九州，上九州，九万山呀，哈利路亚。
man. All eyes closed. This is a deep deliverance service. It is a service of the violent take it by force. The prayers I want you to pray now, they are not ordinary prayers. In fact, we could finish this prayer and share the grace and go. But it's important that you do not negotiate with the enemy. It's important that you do not joke with the prayers at all. It's important that nobody's voice becomes louder than yours. It's important that you pray it well, violently. Immediately the process of this prayer starts. The miracle hand of God will begin to work. Some people, it will go back 20 years, 30 years, 50 years. Some will just see the body lifting away. Some may actually see the strong man pulling out of their bodies. If you pray this prayer and you lose your voice, but the process of deep deliverance happens in your life, you will have done yourself a world of favor. While the process of this prayer is going on, there are people here or connected to this program. All your life they have been pressing you down. It is those powers that are pressing you down that you want to unseat now. There are people here, the enemy has fired all kinds of arrows into your body. It's as if the body does not belong to you. You will see what will happen in the next five minutes. If you will open your mouth and pray aggressively. Blind Bartimaeus screamed and cried out. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. His voice was loud enough to embarrass people. For the voice of a single man to embarrass a crowd, it must be a serious cry. It is that kind of cry that can give the breakthrough. The Bible says, in the day that I cry, then shall my enemies turn back. There is somebody here. Immediately you begin to cry out to God now. The enemies that pursue your grandfather, pursue your father, and is now pursue you, shall be buried alive. If in the process of these prayers, you find that you could not remain on your feet, right there on the floor where you are, continue the prayers. Now place your hand on your belly button area with a voice that nobody beside you will overshadow you will shout this loud and clear blood of Jesus deliver my foundation in the name of Jesus there must be great deliverance Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. We're making progress. We're making huge progress. Say voices from my foundation that are attacking my star. Can I hear the sister shouting this loud? I'm sure the sisters can do a lot better than this. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together now. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Makatenda ya boshente rabosetenda keyaba. Bapiari katenda rabo shente rabo senta. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. 
In Jesus name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I am going to count seven from here, which is a sign of perfection. Something is going to happen to three groups of people. Number one set of people. Everywhere you go, you face unexplainable hatred. The power of God will fall upon you, and that yoke shall be broken. Number two, you are at the edge of a serious breakthrough right now. But some forces have just risen up again to steal that breakthrough. As I count seven, the power of God will fall upon you, and that yoke shall be broken. And by the next power must change hands. You come here with your testimony. As I count to seven, all those who are here, and you came here almost lifeless, the power of God will fall upon you, and your blood that has been taken away shall be returned. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, you have been operating for a long time. Today is the expiry date of that operation. Just shake the serpent out of your head. Shake the serpent out of your head. Masikatelikayaboshanda. Aha. Yes. Amen. You that unexplainable swelling in the body, I command you to depart from your hiding place in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. Right there where you are. Receive the touch of the great physician in the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of the great physician in the name of Jesus. Aha. If you are in this service now. And you came here almost lifeless. Came here almost without strength to do anything. Your strength has returned now. So wherever you are, without allowing anybody to assist you, run quickly to this altar here. Run quickly to the altar. Don't let the devil put the problems back on you. There are serious prayers to pray. Very serious prayers. Sisters, if you pray this prayer, there are many sisters here. This single prayer will bring you uncommon testimonies. Brothers, Pray this prayer to, you to encounter your testimonies. Joy swallowers of my father's house. Is that the loudest you can shout it? Your voice is still not loud enough. Make it a louder shout. In the name of Jesus. Those who are swallowing the joy of your father's house. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Stretch your right hand towards me here. Father, these hands that are stretched here, let his hand carry the fire power of God. 
Let it carry the healing power of Jehovah. When you use his hand this day, every bondage shall be broken. And every arrow of death and hell shall go back to the senders. In the name of Jesus. Now, anywhere you are having problem in your body, smite it without mercy 21 times. And shout, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Let's go! Satalia Aha, aha, aha. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Do what you could not do before. And once that problem has gone, run quickly to the altar here. Don't let the enemy put this problem back. Say this after me. Anything in the land of the dead troubling my life. His prayer is for somebody here. Because your breakthrough also happened today, 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 today. Anything in the land of the dead troubling my life. Dead! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Masatelikaya Boshencha. In Jesus' name we pray. That's right. Check that body. Yes. And run quickly to the altar. Don't let the devil put it back. The arrow fired into your head. That makes it look as if it's going to burst. The power of God is coming upon you. That person over there, they say you have cancer. Fire is coming upon your body. And that disease is drying up. Check your body, check your body. And run quickly to this altar here. This particular prayer is a serious one indeed. Lay your right hand on your head. Then later you lay your hand on your chest as we pray this prayer. Let's start with the head. Foundational injury in my life can you shout it loud is that the loudest you can shout it receive healing in the name of Jesus Yes, foundational injury. Receive healing now. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say any dark power living in my house or around my house. Can I hear you saying that loud and clear?
That voice is not loud enough. Uh huh. Get out now! In the name of Jesus. Any dark power living in my house or around my house, command them to get out. Jesus name we pray silence father I'm praying for anyone under the sound of my voice who has been dedicated to any idol and this idol from the waters from the forest from the mountains the idol that has been controlling this destiny makatenda le karibo setia upon everyone like that here let the chain of the idol power be broken now be broken 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 in the name of Jesus That evil tree planted in your father's house with your name that has been troubling your life. Let the chain of that satanic tree upon your destiny be broken now in the name of Jesus. Oh yes! Aha, aha, aha. Anyone in this garden who has stepped on any magic item or any sorcery item or any enchantment item and the thing is affecting their legs, let the fire of the God of Elijah burn to ashes every plantation of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Yes, that's the power of God coming upon you. Father, I'm praying for all those here or under the sound of my voice who have been dedicated to the waters and the power controlling their destiny is inside the waters. Father, as I count seven from here, let your liquid fire fall upon such people. And let the yoke of the waters be broken to pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Aha. Before we go on, you now need to pray this prayer. The prayer that delivered that woman from the bondage. Pass! Assign to use me as a sacrifice. You are a liar. Die! In the name of Jesus. Deal with that power now. In Jesus' name we pray.
Et ça vous fout de mal. Right there where you are, pick any song of praises and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings to the Lord of Love. Any song of praises. You are the mighty man in battle. You are the mighty man in battle. You are the mighty man in battle. You Amen. With a loud voice, sing this song of deliverance unto thee, O Lord. You are my soul. Hallelujah. 
we thank you for this day specially open our understanding so that we can war a good warfare in Jesus mighty name we pray a louder amen let's sit down for a few minutes and take our bibles last week and last month we began to look at deep deliverance there could be surface deliverance there could be partial deliverance but it's also deep deliverance we need to address it today we need to address it the coming power must change us glory be to the name of Jesus and in this coming power must change us you must prepare yourself for an encounter with the Lord certain deep things must be achieved so listen very very carefully now before we now start this specific prayers there are 40 reasons why the enemy could rage against you 40 reasons the enemy rages against you a lot of us are going through that now the enemy is raging against us but I prophesy upon the life of somebody over there that all those glory killers that have made it a full time assignment to trouble your life as you shout a sevenfold amen now their tenor shall expire in the name of Jesus Psalm 2 Psalm 2 from verse 1 Psalm 2 verse 1 Why do the hidden rage and the people imagine a vain thing The kings of the earth set themselves and rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed saying let us break their bands asunder and cast away their cause from us. But the Bible says, He that seated in the heavens shall laugh. There is somebody here, the Lord shall laugh your enemies to scorn in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Psalm number 7, Psalm 7. Look at what it says in verse 6. Arise, O Lord, in thine anger. Lift up thyself because of the rage of my enemies. And I work for me to the judgment thou hast commanded. The enemy, listen carefully, has rearranged many people from the front to the back. Many have been diverted from their original divine intention. Many are actually waging war against their own destiny, although they're, they're not aware. Many are throwing stones at their own destinies. And they are hiding their hands. And they are the ones throwing the stones. Many are digging their own graves. And hiding the spade. Many are princes. But the servants have taken over their horses. And the servants are riding them. Many are fishing and catching nothing. In the ocean of life. Many good seeds that have been planted into many lives. Unfortunately. Have been eaten up by evil birds. Many don't even know the real life they're supposed to live. If some know their real life, they will pray harder than they are praying. Many have been converted to hewers of wood and drawers of water by the enemy. And many are singing the Lord's song in a strange land. Unto many, their correct life has been killed, even from the womb. Many are a shadow of what God wants them to be. Many have internal suppressors suppressing and killing good things inside. Many who claim to be Christians, they are claiming authority but they are taking no ground. More than at any other time in the history of mankind, 
there are many more mad people on our streets now. Many only encounter their real life in the dream. Many have accepted satanic substitute for their destiny. Many are laboring under the curse of powerless living. It is sad, but it is true that the devil has closed down the workshop of so many people. This is a situation that must not be allowed to continue. It is totally unacceptable. This is why the Bible says, As from the days of John the Baptist, until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent took it by force. Immediately you stand up, and you decree, you declare, you decide, I want to fulfill my destiny. I want to live my correct life. There is a rage from the bottom of hellfire against your life. The enemy will rage because they want to keep you where they are keeping you. And this is a very serious matter. Sometimes after ministers of God are prayed for some people, the enemies that are after those people come back to the man of God. Say, excuse me, what is your problem? Leave this person alone. Let us destroy them. I am praying for somebody here. Every rage of the enemy against your life shall backfire in the name of Jesus. A sevenfold amen. Under what condition does the enemy rage against you? Number one. The enemy rages against you when your destiny is colorful. Nobody throws stones at mango trees without fruit. The reason you are going through what you are going through now may be because you have a colorful destiny and the enemy is bent on not making you to attain it. Two, the enemy rages when they see you as a danger to their activities. They find that the way you are going, if you continue going like that, you will be extremely dangerous to their kingdom. Three, the enemy rages when your life is about to make a positive history. Four, the enemy rages when everyone is planning your celebration. Five, the enemy rages when you are at the edge of a destiny changing breakthrough. I see so many people here. They are at the edge of serious breakthrough. I command you in the name of Jesus. Enter into that breakthrough. Enter. Enter it. Enter it. Enter it. Enter it. Enter it. Enter it. In the name of Jesus. Six. The enemy rages. When the time to sing your song and dance your dance is around the corner. Seven. The enemy rages. When your testimony is about to explode. Eight. The enemy rages. When he found that you are about to break his final yoke, that final yoke is about to be broken. They will now become desperate and increase their rage against you. If you give up at that time, you made a tragic error. Now, the enemy rages when their defeat is around the corner. See so that the way this person is going is about to defeat them. Ten, the enemy rages when your victory becomes non negotiable. Eleven, the enemy rages when they are afraid of your speed. The way you are going is scaring them. Twelve. The enemy rages when your promotion is already announced in heaven. Thirteen. The enemy rages when your case has been fast tracked in heaven. Fourteen. The enemy rages when you are definitely now positioned to make your mark in life. You are now correctly positioned. When you are not correctly positioned, they leave you alone. But immediately you are correctly positioned. You are now praying the correct prayers. The rage will start. Fifteen. The enemy rages when you have just won a major victory. Sixteen. The enemy rages when there is a prophetic agenda for your life. Word of prophecy has come forth for your destiny. And so they are so angry they are raging against you. Seventeen. The enemy rages when you have been promoted above them. 18. The enemy rages when you are determined to forget your expired past. You want to look forward to the future. The rage will start. 19. The enemy rages 
when you refuse to take no for an answer. You are putting pressure on heaven to answer your prayers. 20, the enemy rages when your harvest is ripe. I see someone here. The harvest of your breakthrough is ripe in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. 21, the enemy rages when you are about to cross your Red Sea. Every man will get to their whole Red Sea and they need to cross it. 22, the enemy rages when the power that prolongs your problem is about to die. I'm going to pray one prayer now. If you know that any problem has stayed long with you, let your amen be the loudest here. By the power of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, every long-term problem in any life, I address you. Hear the word of the Lord. Lose your power in the name of Jesus. Masika tenda ya boshendera bokante. Riba sapali ka tali ka yaba. Masantera bokosente. Amen. Twenty-three. The enemy rages when you declare to them enough is enough. Twenty-four. The enemy rages when you are set to overtake your superiors. Twenty-five. The enemy rages when you decide to be stubborn to obstacles. Twenty-six. The enemy rages when you, you are determined to turn your scar into star. Twenty-seven. The enemy rages. When you are determined to go from zero to hero. 28. The enemy rages when your turning point is near. 29. The enemy rages when the enemy sees that your blessings are irreversible. And 30, which is where I'm going to stop for now. The enemy rages when you need deep deliverance and you do not process it. Because they do not want you to get out of that bondage. Some things will begin to happen right now. All you need to do is to just listen to instructions and pray those prayers and follow the procedure outlined for you and then believe God from your heart. But for you to go through this situation and receive deliverance from deeply rooted problems, you need to surrender your life to Jesus first. It's after that you can begin to address such trouble. Rise up. Rise to your feet now. Rise to your feet. All eyes closed. Rise to your feet. If you are here today, say, Pastor, today is my day of deliverance. I need to surrender my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, why all eyes are closed. Raise up your right hand. Raise it up very well. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Those of you raising up your right hand, come quickly to the altar here. Or any of the two altars at the back. Jesus is waiting for you here. You need to surrender your life to Jesus before you can receive this deep deliverance. Do it very quickly. Jesus is waiting for you. Oh, so Jesus, I surrender only of His feet I bow.
Those of you at the altar, I congratulate you. Taking the most important decision in life. Just say what I'm going to say after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. As from today, I say bye-bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Lay your hands upon them. Bless them mightily. Write their names in the book of life. In Jesus' name. Amen. The rest of us, let's bow down our heads and tell the Lord that you must not go home empty-handed here today. Begin to talk to the Lord now. me then with his hand 
this month is about the rise here of it, please, while we pray with you. Father, we thank you for your children here. We are celebrating their birthday this month. Let your hand be upon them for good in the name of Jesus. Mobilize heaven so that I help everywhere they go in the name of Jesus. By this time next year, Jesus starts in his coming. You'll be a bigger bundle of testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your prayer letters, stand on your feet and point it towards this altar now. Let your amen roar like thunder as I pray now. All the letters pointed to the altar. Father, in the name of Jesus. Every prayer listed in this paper. Let them become testimonies in the name of Jesus. The Lord God that dwelleth in Zion will answer all your prayers. And you shall rejoice. You shall rejoice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Bring out your anointing oil now. And put a little bit on your palm. A little bit on your palm. Father, this oil that your children are using today, let it become the oil of healing and deliverance. The oil that would dig deep and uproot every foundational evil plantations in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of healing, deliverance and power. In the name of Jesus. Now apply the oil on your forehead. Rub that forehead vigorously. Do it vigorously. Aha. Do it vigorously. Don't stop. Don't stop. Keep rubbing it in. Something is going on. Evil labors are being removed. The mark of the enemy is being removed. Continue doing it. Continue doing it. Aha. Aha. Amen. Put a small oil on your palm again. Your palm again. Father, this oil, let it become the instrument of great breakthrough. Instrument of great power. In the name of Jesus. Now rub your two hands with the oil. It's to release prosperity onto your life. Rub those two hands. Rub it together with the oil. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. As you pray this first prayer, if you are in this meeting today, there is a satanic milk flowing out of your breast. It's not supposed to be coming out, it's coming out. Find a way quickly to this altar and be on your knees. Also, if you are in this service today, Invisible insects are biting you. Just when something is biting your body. Run quickly to this altar and be on your knees too. Can everybody shout this loud and clear? Powers! Submitting my name to the covenant. In the name of Jesus. Submitting my name to the cover. Die in the name of Jesus. Makatendayaboshenta. In Jesus' name we pray. So, Holy Ghost bulldozer. In 
Jesus name we pray those of you at the altar point your right hand to me here father let your power flow into this hand let this hand remove the plantation of darkness in the name of Jesus I'm going to count seven smite your head seven times and then you'll be anointed you can go back to your seat one do it well do it well one two three four five six seven you can go back to your seat now thank you jesus makatenda yaboshenterabo da katenda riboshente yaboshent glory killers of my father's ass you are a liar Damn. in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. As we pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting today, anytime you are at the edge of a breakthrough, you have some strange dreams, and the breakthrough disappears. Find a way to the altar. If you are in this service today too, strange, you smell strange odors that others don't smell. Find a way to the altar too. And be on your knees. Everybody will shout this prayer loud and clear. Pass! God, that to disgrace me. Your time is up. Scatter! In the name of Jesus. scatter, they must scatter something is happening something is happening in Jesus name we pray you will shout this louder than anyone around you Say rough life. life. Back seat. seat. Can you shout out those things loud and clear? Shout it louder than that. I am not your candidate. In the name of Jesus. Rough life back seat. In Jesus name we pray. Those of you at the altar, point your right hand at me here. Father, let the Holy Ghost fire and the power of deliverance fall upon this hand. In the name of Jesus. As I count seven now, smite your head vigorously. And immediately you are anointed, go back to your seat. One. I want you to be more aggressive. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Masekatenda yabo shendera bo santa. You may go back to your seat now. Yes, my curtain certain day about. Aha. Yes, bro. Can all the feathers? Yes, bro. Can all the feathers? 
Yes, who can all the fever? He has set me free. I will sing hallelujah. I will sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. He has set me free. He has set me free. He has broken. He, he has broken all the fetters. He has broken all the fetters. He has broken. All the he has set me free. He has set me free. I will sing. I will sing. Hallelujah. I will sing. I will sing. Back to your seat. Don't worry. Whether you have been anointed or not, go back to your seat. Go back to your seat now. Jesus has answered your prayers. Thank you, Jesus. 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 One more prayer before you go. Every power that has handed me over. To the strong man. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. strong man die in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we pray everybody go back to your seat now go back to your seat please thank you Jesus father we thank you for this day and we thank you for your grace and your power we thank you for your loving kindness we thank you for your power which knows no equal. I'm praying for all your children gathered here and those who are connected to us. At any deeply rooted trouble, any long-term affliction, I bury them now in the name of Jesus. And right there where you are, receive your deliverance. 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 Receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. 
the Lord blesses you from Zion. I make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. You go from strength to strength. You go from glory to glory. No weapon form against all your family shall prosper. By the next power must change your service. You shall be a bigger bundle of testimonies. All the stubborn enemies gathered against you. They shall be disgraced. Thank you, Heavenly Father. I cover you and your family with the blood of Jesus. The eyes that neither slumbers nor sleep shall continue to be with you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us share the grace in fellowship.